fine day. It's kind of crappy weather, but it's it's it is nice. I'm I'm having a good day. Um, someone donated a hundred. I don't I don't know if that's gonna happen. And holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell, dude? Are you kidding me? <laughs> $41 from TDG Productions and oh my god $50 from meme bids. What oh my oh my god I've got no words. I've got no words. Look at that big button. See the one I'm talking about? We've never ever pressed this button before in a video. But today we will be pressing it into the depths of Geometry Dash main levels that barely ever get played anymore. Are you ready for this intense experience? It's gonna be so damn good. Woo! I do apologize for the weird intro guys, but we are back again at Geometry Dash and today we are doing a different kind of video. Why the hell not? We're going to be doing a cool little video on the main levels, specifically three of them. The levels that I like the most that are made by Robtop. Um, I can stop explaining now and we're just going to go in. So we're going to be playing my three most favorite Robtop levels and we're going to start with number one. We're just going to go straight into it. We're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to do it, you know? Number one is Hexagon Force, and this has always been one of my favorites. We're just going to play it and talk about it as we play it and try and beat it. So this level is just so damn unique. Let me turn the volume down. It's so nice. Like, what kind of levels? Who would have thought of a design like this? It looks so good. The colors are perfect. The green and purple. It's just too good. Like, how can you beat it? And of course, this was the level that introduced the slopes. And slopes are just, they're kind of hard to use. They're kind of hard to make look good. But as you can see here, Robtop has basically nailed it like how nice is the usage of everything in this game pretty much yeah so you can kind of see why it's my favorite level i'm i'm not really sure what people's favorites are to be honest um i'm sure plenty of people like it but this is just such a nice level i'm kind of running out of things to say but what can you not like about it basically this is the first time that i've really seen slopes and the first time i played this level i was just blown away like how could slopes be in Geometry Dash, a game that is literally about cubes and squares and that was used so nicely. Also the dual portals, like that was basically the only asymmetrical dual you'll see in a rock top level, we just we just beat there. But yeah, just super nice. Color combos are just on point, see? Blue and purple, who would have thought, who would have used that? In like levels before this, no one really did kind of stuff like that. But yeah, we're at the end and I think we didn't really die. We died once at the start actually, but it was quite easy and I enjoyed it. I remember this part at the end was really like butt clenching. You're like, oh my God, am I going to beat it? <laughs> but yeah, I got really nervous on that last part, but pretty easy today. Pretty nice. I agree with the difficulty and it's just such a great level. I can't stress how good this damn level is. Hexagon Force by Robtop. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of mixing up the hairstyle today for some reason. Just got kind of bored and went, whatever, we'll go, we'll, we'll take it differently this time. But yeah, whatever. We're moving on with the game. Um, Theory of Everything 2. One of my favorites, or my second favorite specifically. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think this is one of the fan favorites. A lot of people like this kind of level, and it's just amazing. We're gonna play it. We're gonna see if we can one attempt it, because we are the skillful, we are a skillful Geometry Dash player. We can one attempt this for sure. So if I remember correctly, this was 1.9, where it introduced the wave mode, whole bunch of stuff. Just a really nice, unique level. That's the one thing that Robtop really does know how to do, being really unique. Thinking of stuff that creators haven't done before, I fell for that fake spike. <laughs> Didn't expect to do that. But yeah, and the song, the song, don't even get me started on the song. This song is just beautiful. <laughs> so nice. This is a very positive episode, isn't it? A very positive video. A lot of like talk about how good Robtop is, but it is the truth. You gotta you gotta admire Robtop, the creator of this game that we love so much. So is this the hard part? Yeah, this is the confusing hard part, but having beaten it like three times, I think I'll be right. It's pretty easy actually. So down and then up. Yep, that's that's the combination. This part gave me a lot of trouble when I beat it on mobile. It was, that flying part was um, distinctively hard from what I can remember. Oh, here comes the wave. This was, this was pretty insane actually, back in the day. Um, when the wave came, my, my earphones are falling out. <laughs> Let's do a skillful, a skillful earphone replace. There we go. Oh, we're still alive. There we go. That's it. Okay, slow part. Okay, here comes the hardest part of the level. 
I must have died here about a hundred times. I'm not gonna lie, that, that one flying part must have died there on mobile about a hundred times before I beat the level. <laughs> so damn hard at the time. Oh, it's so easy today. It's funny how times change. Everything's so easy now. And we've beaten it. Nice. Such a good damn level. So good. I can't just, I can't stop saying how good Robtop is. It's just so nice. How can you build such a good level? Damn. The Year of Everything 2. What a nice looking level. There's a lot of attempts on that actually back in the day when I beat it. But we'll move on to my favorite Geometry Dash level, which is Geometrical Dominator. I said in, I think, my Building with Lemons video, I, th I said this was my favorite. Geo Dominator. When I built the remake, it was fun. I just love this level so much. And yeah, we're going to beat it. We're going to play it again and beat it. I love the song. I love all everything about it. Yeah. So what you can see here basically is a very Mario inspired level. When I first played it, I'm like, this is very, very inspired by Mario, but that's such a great thing. Like, honestly, I think Robtop just made the right decision here. I don't think I've ever said, like, in this video, I don't think I've said anything negative yet about Robtop. Maybe we should find something negative to say about it. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything negative to say about Robtop. What the hell? If I see something, I'll say it. That's for sure. Or oh, the moving objects. That's one thing. That is one thing. That moving object part. It's a bit confusing, and it could have could have done without the moving objects, but it's still pretty good. This basically, I just love this level. <laughs> I keep saying that. I just love all these levels. While we're on the subject of my favorite levels, why don't we talk about my least favorite Rob Top level? Would probably have to be um, probably Cycles. I think I don't really like Cycles that much. I don't like the song, and I don't really like the gameplay either. But I still like it. It's just not my favorite. Oh my god, the infamous, infamous maze. Oh, the infamous block maze with the appearing blocks. Wow, I know why that's the most hated part in this level. <laughs> Actually, that is something bad we can say about the level. The appearing alpha trigger block maze. Really, really not fun. <laughs> but once you learn it, it's fine. I know lots of people hate it. Let's get the coin. Why not? Let's actually get the coin. There we go. What a cool coin. Coin placement. Also, Rob Top coin placement is very... Very impressive as well. Some of them aren't that great, but most of them are pretty good. How about we just go for a second coin? Why not? There we go. We got it. Let's go for the third coin too, you know? Why the hell not? Let's go for the third coin. If I could remember where it was, I would get it. I think it's in the last ship part. Um, I'll try and remember it. It's all good. Here comes the, the damn block maze. The same place I died two times now. I'm not going to die there again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> So a lot of people have been asking me why I changed my ship. As you can see, I've got a different looking ship. Um, basically, I just wanted to change it up a bit, you know. I'm not going to change my icon, but I'm free to change my ship. I just felt like the other one was getting a bit old. And let's actually focus, because this is so hard. Come on, come on. Come on, yes. There we go. Okay, we're in the business now. We're in the business. We can do it. I'm actually really nervous. Why am I so nervous? I was nowhere near as nervous as when I was in Theory of Everything 2. Come on, come on. I think we've done it. Yes, we've done it. Hell yeah, that's my three favorite Rob Top levels, all beaten in one video. Damn. Such good levels. I have so much respect to Rob Top for making these awesome levels. Honestly, hey, we got some orbs. <laughs> It was completely worth it, eh? <laughs> so yeah, that was my three favorite Rob Top levels. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm, I'm sorry if it wasn't very interesting, but I just wanted to showcase my three favorite levels. A lot of people have been asking me what my favorite Rob Top level is, and obviously it's Geometrical Dominator, but I wanted to show everything, and you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, that will be it for this video, guys. Um, Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry about the green screen, or the lack of green screen. I just haven't really been able to set it up recently. The lighting hasn't been too good, but anyways, I'll see you later. Have a good one, and I don't know, goodbye or something. Goodbye, I guess. See you later. That was the most awkward ending to a video I've ever seen, but whatever. See you later. <laughs>